Yo, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a few tips on how you can spot a fake Stone Island sweatshirt. The tips given in this video are specifically in relation to the sweatshirt with the model code 62740. However, you may be able to apply some of them to other models as well. Also remember that because both real and fake products change over time and can vary depending on where they were manufactured, the tips given in this video won't necessarily be applicable to every single situation. We're going to look at the neck labels first. The grey sweater is the fake one, the real one is the lighter coloured one. You'll notice that the fake one has the black made in Romania label underneath the main Stone Island label. This isn't a detail you can use to spot fakes. Depending on where you buy your Stone Island sweatshirt, it may actually have that label there so try to ignore that for now. What you want to do here is make sure that the Stone Island wording is thick enough and that the label isn't too tall lengthwise. Next up we have the triangular inlay which appears just beneath the neck area. Signs of a fake here include the rib detailing not being prominent enough and the triangular shape of the inlay being too angular and not well curved. It's also worth looking out for the quality of finishing around the stitches. On a lot of the fakes you're going to see some rough finishing whereas if you're looking at the real pieces the finish will usually be cleaner. If you happen to be looking at buying a secondhand sweatshirt online then disregard this tail completely. Once the sweatshirt's been used, washed a few times, it will show signs of wear and tear which will probably make this tip not very useful. When looking at the cuffs and the hem, the rib detailing is something that should never be overlooked. On a lot of the real pieces it stands out a lot more as I have previously mentioned, so that's an underrated detail that's definitely going to help you out. In the past when looking at the Stone Island logo badge, details such as the drop stitch were enough to be able to spot the difference between the real and the fake, but given the changes that have happened this isn't the case anymore. Funnily enough it's actually a bit simpler now, the main thing you want to look at is the colour. The colours on the genuine Stone Island patches tend to be more saturated in comparison to a lot of the fakes, and if we're paying particular attention to this one here we can see the yellow is brighter and the green is actually darker as well. The materials used are also slightly different but unless you have both in hand this isn't going to be able to help you as much. Just underneath the badge we have the Stone Island buttons and here the wording seems to be more deeply engraved on the real version. The last two tips involve the tags and the inside labels. With regards to the tags I'll just say be very careful using them. A lot of the fakes are now almost copying these perfectly so I wouldn't really advise using this to help you authenticate. If you insist on using it then maybe just look at the fonts but like I said I wouldn't really recommend using this. However what I would recommend using is the Certi logo code. You can either scan this using your phone or head over to certilogo.com and input the code. This will allow you to verify the authenticity of your products which means you won't really have to bother with all these other little checks. As always I hope you found this video useful. If you have, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe to my channel, and I'm gonna see you guys again on the next video. Peace.